Hey friends, Tux here, and for this particular video we have some brand new Anibos, and it's been a while since I've actually done an Anibo update as far as an opening goes, because last time on my toy haul, if you look back at my toy haul, you'll notice I bought some, but I didn't open them, and quite frankly, it's because I don't know where they're at. I think they're still either in a box or in the car or something, so I need to dig around, so that's why I wanted to get to these Anibos real quickly since my last, very last toy haul and make sure I unbox them because they're two really cool ones and also because I wanted to pass along that don't forget if you have some holes in your Nebo collection now is a really great time because a lot of places are starting to a stock them better and b they're actually having deals you know like buy one get one 50 percent off so it's a great time to fill those holes in your collection and actually save a few bucks too so way to go Nintendo you know now, for this particular video, we have the Rob the Robot, and this is, of course, the Japanese version, and we have Renew from Street Fighter. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. Um, we'll go ahead and open up Street Fighter first here and check this out. I love Street Fighter. Always been a fan. I actually, at one point, had a Street Fighter arcade machine, but that's actually a story for another video, maybe. Um, but, yes, I did have a Street Fighter arcade machine that I restored and it was quite the um, quite the adventure restoring it. Now, of course, the packaging, I didn't mention it, but as beautiful as normal. And pulling out Renew here, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, really cool pose. This is definitely uh, a must-have for any Street Fighter fan. Just very nice fighting stance. Um, he's a little flexible, like the little uh, bandana. You can actually move this a little bit, which is pretty cool. And the arms, you can slightly flex them. There's a little bit of bendability, but I don't want to break it. Um, I do want to say hats off to Nintendo for using clear plastic to hold his feet in place as opposed to using the yellowed plastic that a couple of them have had in the past, which make it look kind of like old or damaged or something. So anyway, very cool. Um, he does have a little bit of Japanese writing here on his belt, his black belt, and also on his gloves. Um, it does not say Everlast. I'm really, I can't quite read that, so I'm not quite sure what that says, but if you know what that says or what it's supposed to say, please let me know here in the comments below, because you know what? I'm kind of curious now, but just really good pose. Check it out. He is ready for fighting. So I would definitely not mess with this guy because he is ready for a brawl, okay? And of course, speaking of brawls, this is meant for Super Smash Brothers. So if you're into Super Smash Brothers, you can add him to your collection of characters that you can play. And of course, it's really cool having something kind of outside the Nintendo norm, you know, Capcom, actually involved in Super Smash Brothers. So very cool. And just a great figure if you don't play Super Smash. Just really nice, um, very good sculpt. He looks very cool and very true for Street Fighter fans. I'm sure everyone will appreciate this. Now, moving on to Rob the Robot, okay? Um, as usual, very nice packaging. And this was another Rob that came out recently, but this is the one with the kind of like plum-colored arms. It's a little bit different. And um, this was the Japanese version of Rob. Now, back in the NES days, I did get an NES, and I had the set with the gun. But I've never had a Rob the Robot. Um, for those of you who do not know what this is, the original Nintendo system, the NES... Um, I don't know if you want to say original, they did have some little Pong games or like early video games, but they're really they're known for the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES, and there was a deluxe version that came with a little robot that looked like this. And of course it didn't do much being that this is kind of like, you know, I guess it would have been, what, 80s? Late 80s? Um, it stacked things and it played a few little games, but um, at the time it was probably kind of cutting edge tech, you know, having a little itty bitty robot to play games with you. So very cool. I love the eyes are kind of translucent plastic. It kind of looks like he's looking at you. Let me shine a little light into the eyes here. Kind of see how they're a little, they almost look like they're like digital or something. Very cool eyes. Um, very cool paint job. Kind of a glossy maroon color. Um, looks like these are bendable. I don't want to break them, but you can see they do move a little bit. They'll fall back into place here. Um, there is no real articulation, it's just the plastic itself is kind of soft. The cord itself is made to look like it's very flexible. It does bend a little bit, but not a whole lot. It wants to stay in that basic configuration. Now, let me get Street Fighter out of the way here. He's distracting me, um, but very cool. And just a great little guy to add to your collection. And um, this, of course, is from Nintendo and is, let's see here if it's listed. Uh, it is not. Let's take a look here at the package. I'm kind of curious about this one because being the Japanese, I mean, of course, we know, let's see, it is for Super Smash Brothers. Um, so let's see, up to level up to level 50, Anibo and Friends, Battle, blah, blah, blah. 
Yeah, so this is pretty much your, your Street Fighter, or your, your Street Fighter, now guys, I have Street Fighter on my mind now, okay guys? This is pretty much your Super Smash Brothers Anibo, um, but Nintendo will be getting better about adding different things to the Anibo, so that you can play some different games and stuff. Some places like Target have actually had like scratch-off codes for like little games that you can play with your Anibos, and of course there's demos you can get with Anibos, and other things you can do with them too, besides even if you don't have a Wii U or a 3DS, they're really fun to collect. I like the little figures. It's kind of like a little video game collectible. So very, very cool. And for the price, it's about the same as a non Anibo collectible from Nintendo. So it's really worth it. But anyway, I'm definitely digging both of these. Let me know which one is your favorite. If these guys are going to brawl it out, who's going to win? All right, guys. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, be sure and subscribe. And be sure and enter the 3400 subscriber giveaway. I got some great things I'm giving out. Some toys, a Pokemon plushie, and so much more. Check out that video for full details. Also, be sure and check out Tux Toys on Instagram and Twitter. And, of course, be sure to check out Tux Reviews. I have this new keyboard I've been playing Overwatch on, the Overwatch beta. And I've been playing so much of it. And I've been playing for hours and hours with this little mechanical keyboard I've really fallen in love with. You can check out that review on Tux Reviews, okay? All right, guys. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.